This is no childhood nursery rhyme, and quite honestly, um, it sounds almost ridiculous, but um, there are many people who think these things are a myth. They, they just keep biting, so you dread going to bed, because when you go to bed, you know that you're going to be bit, and you know that these things are going to like torture your mind. Why bed bugs have made such a comeback so fast is one of, one of the great mysteries in entomology. Nobody was expecting this, this level of infestation. We pretty much had them knocked out from the 50s, but now they, they, they've come back. It's like a, you know invisible monster or something, you know, <laughs> torturing you. <laughs> For half a century, the bed bug was heard only in nursery rhymes, a playful warning to not let them bite. But in reality, the bed bug has been around since biblical times, but they were never really a subject of great concern here in America until now. Dr. Michael Potter is an entomologist at the University of Kentucky and the leading scientist in bed bug research. A bed bug is a small, brownish, flattened, blood sucking insect that feeds on mouth. been on bed bug infestations where people have been to four different dermatologists and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with them and had never seen a bed bug and then you get to their home and you flip over their mattress or their box spring and it looks like the Boston Massacre. I mean there's just thousands of bed bugs underneath and they never knew they were there. When these people call with a bed bug infestation, if they even feel they have a bed bug infestation, they want you there now. Not tomorrow, not next week, okay? You can go uh, from you know, just a couple of bed bugs to thousands of bed bugs in really in a matter of months. Once they have these guys, they never want to deal with this emotional trauma again. Every bed bug infestation is a horror story for the people that have it. The emotional scars are there, okay? They are traumatized. You know, would you not be? I deal with all kinds of, of structural pests from termites to cockroaches and everything in between spiders but bed bugs is the most disturbing pest that I've ever encountered I think it was the Hilton Hotel five-star hotel you know, and I hadn't been itching in a long time. So I, I go to bed that night, and I'm laying in bed, and all of a sudden I start itching again. I said, how, how can these have any bed bugs in this hotel? So finally, I couldn't take it anymore. So I go in the bathroom, and they had a bathtub, and I filled the bathtub all the way up to the top of the water. And then I got in the bathtub and went underneath the water and held my breath as long as I could. And when I came up, all the bed bugs were floating. Psychologically, it's very uh, troubling. Because when I, when I got those bed bugs off at that hotel and I went back to bed, I could still feel like I was being bit, but I wasn't being bit. I knew I didn't have any more bed bugs on me, but I still felt creepy. And that stays with me for quite a while. Stories like this are being told every day.